burning stand. Sunday morning. So the sun's up. There's a little bit of a breeze. I'm gonna get up, get dressed, and start packing up. Have you had a good time, Stan? Yeah, me too. Well, we better get busy. <laughs> it's not Victoria, it's actually somewhere else. And then you have Say hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Breakfast at um, Dockside we Willie's. Just packing up, about to leave Wyerton. Just checking the, uh, the boat again. Make sure everything's good and tight. Good. One more click. Boat is balanced now so that there's about 150 pounds of ton weight. So weight there. You don't want it to lift up on the car. It's bad. Okay, I think it's just say goodbye to everybody and hit the road. Clean up the campground. I'm just leaving Wyerton, the campground now. I forget what the campground's called. Uh, doesn't matter. My customer hat change. Got my monkey, Stan. Say hello. Good work. I'm gonna hit a Tim Hortons, get a coffee, and hit the road. I've got uh, three hours to drive. I'm gonna get gas before I go. So I can check and see what my fuel economy has been like on the way up here. The car says I've been getting 19.3 miles to the gallon, uh, which is better than the Volvo's ever been. <laughs> so we'll see what uh, it calculates out to. I'm on the highway. The car's working great. The boat's pulling like a dream. I got gas. I got. 28 liters of fuel, and that got me 235 kilometers. So, I'll figure that out and put it here. And that's the, the fuel economy in miles per gallon. Not even gonna bother with the metric. Going along at about, you know, the speed limit. Nothing crazy. Going through farm country, it's Mennonite country too. Here's some here. These guys are going home after church. This area has a lot of uh, Mennonite or Amish farms. So, yeah, it's a pretty uh, big Mennonite community. For County Road 87 West, City Road 28 South. I'm near Harriston. That's uh, where Mennonite country seems to be. It's also around St. Jacobs and north of Kitchener. I'm about 20 kilometers north of London right now. When, uh, when I was in Wyerton with the, the group this morning, they were talking about a small craft advisory. Uh, this afternoon and boy has it got windy here I've been fighting crosswinds uh, like really strong gusts of crosswinds coming home where the whole car and the whole boat move uh, I had the same thing last year uh, when we were using uh, we're using I think we we're using the Saab and the crazy crazy crosswinds coming from the west of course so now I've, I've kind of got them on my shoulder. So I'm getting pushed and pushed again by these crosswinds. Look forward to seeing what my fuel economy is coming home versus going there. I'll fill up once I get to London and uh, do the math. So I've decided that I'm gonna drop the boat at the yacht club. I'll unload the boat into the car. Come on, people, you don't pull up in front of a guy pulling a boat. Sorry. I'm going to 
to unload the boat into the car. I've got sleeping bags and uh, camping stuff in there. Uh, and then uh, I'll, I'll leave the boat at the club. I want to wash the boat, strip off some of the uh, finish that's on it, the, uh, and then reapply that. So I don't, uh, I'm not going to put it in the water right away. I want to be able to haul it over so it's closer to the water taps and uh, be able to power wash it. I think I'll probably do that tomorrow. If it's not raining, I don't even know what the weather is supposed to be tomorrow. <sighs> Beautiful day, other than it's, it's really windy. <laughs> made it back to the club, parked beside another siren, never seen that siren off its mooring, other than on its trailer, never seen it sail, <laughs> I'm here almost every day, anyways, I'm going to unload this siren, put the stuff in the car, take it home, and then get ready for washing, get this cleaned up, still here, We've got white caps on Fanshawe Lake. That would be a lot of fun to be sailing in right now with the siren, but uh, I'm gonna wash it and look after. I don't want to put it in and have to haul it out again just to clean it. <sighs> Chris's boat is in. He's the only one. Other than I did see a, um, a laser just go in. So they'll be out having fun. This week, I'm going to fix my dock stairs. So that means putting in my new ones that are up here, laying there, swapping them out with these, and uh, installing this three in the little landing. So I'll do a bunch of work out here, get that done for the season, and I'll be happy. I'm off home to see the girls. I'd like to take Heidi out for dinner, if I can this evening, if she's into it, let's see if she's into it, if not I'll make something nice. It's uh, 3 o'clock now, I got here to the Yacht Club about 2.30, so it was 3 hours driving from uh, Wyerton, 226.4 kilometers. I'm going to go get gas before I head home. I'll figure out that gas mileage. Fuel economy. I just filled up. I went 230 kilometers and it took 24.57 liters. 24 and a half liters. $27.17 versus going up there, 235 kilometers. There's a little tootling around there too. And that cost uh, $30.36. And uh, it was about three cents more a liter. It was 27.85 and this was 24. So these three liters less coming back said the wind with me there's more inside of me I guess it pushed me part of the way too we're in our cottage cats over there on my luggage tough life let's go for dinner mm. she got some sun eh did I Sunblock on. But. Pizza Hut.